Welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to see how to create the mega menu using HTML and CSS. Look at the final demo, in which we can see the navigation bar with menu items, and when we hover over it, the background color and the color of the text changes. When we hover over the sports and tech items, we can see the mega menu sliding out. In the sports section, we can see the images and text below it. And in the text section, we can see the data. For demo files, you can visit my GitHub account, where you can clone it or download the files. I will leave a link below this video, check it out. Let's get started with HTML structure. Create the wrapper development with mega menu element in it. Inside it create the unordered list with 6 list items and anchor elements. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. In this demo, I am going to use the Ubuntu Google fonts. Search for the Ubuntu font family and include it into the CSS file. Now reset the default margin and padding values of all HTML elements to zero. Remove the bullets using list style property. Use the box sizing property so the padding and border get included into the width of the element. Finally, include the Ubuntu font family. Add the background color to the body. Set the 100% width to the wrapper. Next set the 100% width and 60 pixels of the height to the mega menu. Style the unordered list, here 100% height is equal to the mega menu, which is 60 pixels. Use the text align property to place the list items horizontally in the center. Set the position value to the relative, so that we can control the mega menu. Use the display inline block method to float the list items in one row. Use the line height property to place the list items vertically in the center. Add the space between the list items using margin and padding properties. Now style the anchor elements.
when we hover over the anchor element, we can see the cursor turning into the pointer. But cursor turns only on text. Set its display property to block, so that the cursor turns into the pointer on the whole list item. Add the submenu development inside the sports list item. Inside it, create the development with class call and add the image and text inside it. Now set the image width and height. Now style the submenu development. Set its position value to absolute, which is relative to the unordered list. Use 60 pixels as a top value. Use the Flexbox concept to align the column sections. By default, the flex direction is the row. Set the justify content value to space around, to create the space around each section. Now set the visibility property to hidden. Now when we hover the list items, change its background.
Next, on hover over the list items, change the color of the anchor elements. Now finally, on hover over the list items, set the Mega Menu Visibility property to visible. So that on hover we can see the Mega Menu coming into the scenes. Now style the P element, which is present inside the submenu. Finally, add another submenu inside the tech list item. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.